There is a place where the lost embers go. As the light begins to fade. Ember ran, because standing still made them feel helpless. The wall glistened. The painting showed embers on a sacred journey. Ember felt so afraid and alone that it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. felt heavy. The statue shone brightly in the light. There was a symbol on the floor. There was a symbol on the floor. Ember noticed something wrong. There was a round space where something used to fit. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Ember felt like they were being watched. The foxes howled into the night. The only reply was silence. The path was blocked. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin.
the caged flame stoked new hope in Ember. was almost within reach. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Fire flickered into life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. Place between places to travel through as your light fades, but none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here, and those who linger will turn forlorn. Again, that word forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, send them to me and I will guide them. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. Ember thought of those they loved. Those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Step backwards, little Ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. The stranger said, take care of those you care about the most.
the old gate was locked. The crow held its shining trophy tight. The stranger whispered, Ever feel like you are being watched? I've never felt that. What does it feel like? Is it nice? It sounds nice. Inside was a scrap of journal. The strangers on the water went on without me. Where have I landed? Vines and thorns stretch out to trip me. The broken net hung ominously around the skeleton's neck. The stranger shivered in the cold. They'd moved through such dark places. They lay down and closed their eyes. distant memory, stolen by the passing miles. The stranger blinked at Ember. Is it morning already? How long have I been asleep?
the door was sealed shut. The worm looked helpless, with no way to escape. As Ember picked it up, the worm let out a little yelp. The Wanderer's Diary. Unfamiliar trees, a path overgrown. Is this a resting place? A place between places? I call out, but mine is the only voice. Stranger whispered, Ever feel like you are being watched? I've never felt that. What does it feel like? Is it nice? It sounds nice. He was nestled between the reeds, but it was just out of reach.
barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. The traveller spoke. You ever had roast frog, friend? I miss a good roast frog. Oh, how they crackle. The stranger had been forgotten. They tried to follow as best they could. But no one heard them when they fell behind. The stranger looked at Ember with surprise. Someone came back for me. Thank you. Traveller said, You sailed in here. Where's your boat? Friend, you need a boat. Go see the builder in the caves. Tell them I'm sorry I never came back.
the stranger had blazed their own path. Created their own rock, their own islands. They did not need Ember's kindness. But still, Ember stayed. Building a bridge should it ever be needed. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. The stranger was trapped, caught in a maze. It was hard to make sense of this place.
trail just kept on closing. The stranger's voice was hoarse. I just need some time, I think, to see things clearly. The ember was curious. Where did you wake up? I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there, a safe place. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. The fisherman felt so useless. His former joys were hollow. Sitting out there every day by the pond, only the dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. A thought beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. <coughs> For a brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. He looked at Ember, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond, a big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches him before I can bait them. Makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember. Well, listen to me here, rambling on and on. It helps, though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. Mm. 
The fisherman noticed the broken net Ember was carrying. Let me have a look, see what I can do. With a silk thread, the fisherman carefully knotted it together. With each knot he tied, a net began to form. Here you go, good as new. Poor little worms, they didn't ask to be here, but how do you fish without them? One for me, one for the fishes, slurp them down. You saw the frog? Did the frog mention me? You ask the frog about me, see what they say. Actually, no, just please don't tell the frog how much I talk about them. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. The frog stared at Embo, its belly rumbling. This was not how Embo had imagined the end. The gurgling of water, a deafening heartbeat. But then... The fog returned Ember's good deed by leading them to a lost forlorn. Stranger stood alone. Their friends have fallen aside, retreating from what came next. The stranger had ventured on. Now they were deep in the woods. It felt so pointless. The stranger spoke hesitantly. Is the campfire crowded? Let me gather myself. I'll see you there. Ember found the wondrous diary. The oily smell of frogs. They know more than they will say. They watch me watching them. Oh, 
the stranger spoke. You look hungry, friend. You bring any broth with you? There's a cook in the swamp. Makes a broth like you wouldn't believe. Keep telling them that it doesn't taste right. They'll keep giving you more. I chased old Blue Betty round this pond for years. Best days of my life catching that fish. Had to use myself as bait. Stuck on me head ever since. They say catching a fish isn't the point. So I tell myself that. I tell myself that a lot. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. With hesitation, it offered to share its story. Its eyes were fixed on Ember, but it seemed to mean no harm. Was this the frog that the fisherman spoke of? Ember could hardly ignore the rumbling from the frog's belly. With hesitation, it offered to share its story. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. <laughs> He was nestled between the reeds, but it was just out of reach. The old gate was locked. 
Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. Stranger gasped for breath. Dark water slipping above their head. didn't care if they sank or swam. Slowly the tides ebbed, washing over old wars. A safe harbour emerging from the inky depths. Ember reached out a hand. Look down. The ground feels good beneath my feet, friend. The stranger said. Take care of those you care about the most. The ghost said, You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. Little one, your journey ahead will not be easy. The path to leave this place is blocked. I will guide others to follow after you clear the way. Others like me who can help. You will always be welcome here in the forest. The stranger whispered, Be kind to yourself. The stranger thought, I feel ready to move on. The stranger said, thank you for being so kind. The stranger spoke, my head feels clear for the first time. 
With tears, the stranger said, I had forgotten what warmth feels like. The stranger said thoughtfully, I felt so alone. I was so lost. Once again, Ember could feel eyes watching. Ember approached the forlorn, but felt it was different. They said, I know what I need to do, what I need to feel. I'm just, I don't want to be helped. Ember could not help. Not all problems were puzzles to be solved. Ember uncovered a journal entry. Dusk brings the longest shadows. The lanthorn comforts me. Soft melodies from home. The wild things listen. Yellow eyes and graying trees. Where we are. I've been walking forever, lost in the marsh. The two travelers were talking quietly. Yeah, I got so lost in the marsh, you know? Why go anywhere else if it's safe here? Yeah, never having to worry again. The birds scare me though. Joked. Another scrawny ember from the forest, and with a bag looking all nicely and shiny, both guards started looking at Ember with a deathly stare. The guard leered. The forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer. Let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. Oh, yes. We decide who gets to see the king. We'll be watching you. The guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. The guard was protecting a path down between the rocks. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. The Forest King showed me the way. You'll see there's no need to keep going. He'll make a bird of you. Go get your feathers.
Change your mind, little scruff. Don't keep the Forest King waiting. The Forest King will want to see you. Yes, yes, come this way. Feeling of foreboding overcame Ember. <coughs> Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant's bird spoke softly. Another little Ember. Speak, little one. Do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh, little Ember, birds won't hurt you. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in the nest, you'll never turn forlorn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? gone. Day is here. Birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird was disappointed. Stay? No need to help, silly forlorn. Hope is false. Hope hurts little ones in the end. Forest King spoke so gently to Ember. Perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little Ember. You will stay. You will not turn forlorn. Search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Ember is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. The guards seem pleased. Clever Scruff sticking with us. I can hold that back for you. Leave him alone. They're one of us now. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. The travelers had disappeared. Their campfire remained. The ashes were still warm. Bear tracks lay in the cinders. The guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the Forest King. He'll set you straight. Got your first feather, I see. Best prove yourself, Scruff. Stand watch here. Promise you won't let anyone pass. Ember didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place forever. They had to keep going. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. There were memories here, bound in rock. 
I hear their voices echo in the ancient stone. I find footprints by the cinders, a makeshift camp. This forlorn was not the same as the others. The forlorn whispered softly, I know what I need, but I am not ready. I may never be ready. The future is yours, stranger, but mine is mine. Ember left the forlorn with their thoughts. The time wasn't right, perhaps would never be. Ember hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened. The birds cruel. Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. The traveller seemed distressed. I'm sure it's fine. They'd be okay. But it's been a while since... It's my fault. Ember found a scrap of journal. I heard them coming. The snap of a twig, a flutter of birds, a figure dashing through the undergrowth, another like me? Quietly, no matter where I go, I always end up here. No matter where I go, always here. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. Peace formed a new route. It was the same place as before, but how? An eerie scene. Like a moment frozen in time. Gradually, more of the map was revealed. A section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. It was like the map had been broken on purpose.
the mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? The stranger spoke. You know, part of me didn't want to be found. They said some things I shouldn't have. And now I'm lost. And it's too late. The skeleton looked peaceful. Held tightly in its hand was a red feather. The statue spoke. Just as it once moved the hearts of the forlorn, the instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you. Another before you took great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. The lanthorn began to glow. Hidden inside was the wondrous journal. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers. My boat floats once more, though I almost wish to stay.
Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown. Leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound. Fall into a giant mound. There was one last place to reach on the map. Ember felt a great relief to be out of the mist. The way through was ruined. Muffled by the fog, Ember was sure they heard a rumble. Could that have been a tremendous snow? Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. A sleeping pig. Trotters in the air. They looked happy. The plant looked like it could take a hand off. And it was in Ember's way. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. The plant looked like it could take, and it was in Ember's way. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy.
A hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. Inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. Other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now. mud but what I want is something with more crunch the pig would eat anything Ember just needed to find more it was junk maybe the pig would eat some junk Even brighter. Surprising. A little sparky. But tingly and belly. But what I want is... Something with more crunch. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. A lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? Where does the world begin? I cannot see far enough to tell. was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy, embery, not much meat, a bit too bony. But what I want is, the pig's stomach made an almighty sound. with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so good on the skin. Join me, morsel. The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. 
Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, Morsel. the stranger said. Don't see much, little friend, do you? Remind me of one of those golem statues. Stood there, mouth open. I like you. Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. It looked long, the ghost said. Speak and I will listen. This is the hollow marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. The forest king watches the doors. The campfire will light the way. Find those who are lost. Bring embers to the fire. Down steps to your east, travel the path south watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope. The stranger had come so very far.
They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. down. A resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map in my head, recite the older myths. I have to move on. Through the mist, Ember could feel they were being watched. The stranger knew they had to move on.
The stranger knew they had to move on. The path behind was forever closed. They knew they had no choice, and yet they hesitated. at all. To leave now seemed unbearable. The stranger stared past Embo. I'm almost ready. Let me sit a little longer. I will catch up. I promise. Thank you. 
The stranger puzzled over their journey. Some steps felt effortless. steps seemed impossible. Again and again they returned to the past. Twisted by unseen. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other along the path. The stranger said excitedly, I've not heard a lanthorn play in a long time. Magical sound a lanthorn makes. Your whole body moves. Let me tell you, I plays a good lanthorn. The orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again. Thank you. 